And for Toronto, they're going to go, we think, with a 4-3-3 tonight. Three changes from Saturday at BMO Field. Lucas McNaughton comes in. He'll start on the back line. Well, that will stay the same following the win. A first Major League Soccer start for Obino Wobodo. And then Brenner to the bench. And Brandon Vasquez back into the starting 11. All right, thank you, Alex. Next match officials brought to you by the KMK Law Offices. It's Lucas Spala, his 12th. MLS game, and we are underway at TQL Stadium, the eighth meeting all time between FC Cincinnati and visiting Toronto FC. I think you've got to go for it quickly and put this opponent on the back foot. Well, it'll certainly be big with a lot of road matches coming up for the orange and blue, and in that game against Toronto's Brandon breaks around. Lucas McNaughton, Vasquez into the box. Calvin Harris there to tap it in. A quick start for the orange and blue. Harris, his first major league soccer goal in the second minute. And Calvin Harris were listening to our conversation, Tommy, because they wasted no time in getting behind. Look at that delivery, too. Very unselfish from Brandon Vasquez. He had the awareness. He looked up. He played a great leading pass in. And what a moment for Calvin Harris getting his start tonight and getting on the scoreboard in two minutes into this game. Pure jubilation from Calvin Harris, your spotlight starter, and it pays dividends to Pat Noonan. I was about to say, in the game in Toronto on Saturday, it was a late first half goal by Ian Murphy, his first in MLS that gave Cincinnati the lead. Luciano Acosta trying to break free, tapped away by Bradley, and then a careless foul there from Ralph Preso, and an immediate yellow card from the match official. Signal that play should continue on. And we are going to go to the monitor. So Lucas Spala is going to be called over here with Toronto already trailing by a goal. And he's going to his pocket. He's going to take away the yellow card and Ralph Preso is being sent off. Two massive moments here in the first five minutes. And Toronto's gone down to man. Yeah, that's great that you have to bring the energy. But it's got to be calculated. Uh, here's an opportunity. Barrial, corner of the 18, across the box. Acosta was there, almost the exact same pass, except Acosta not able to stay on his feet, and he put it up over the frame. Michael Bradley, the 34 year old captain for Toronto. Azuelo looking for a shot, pounces awkwardly, but right up to the chest. The Roman Santana, no trouble. Nelson, Barrial on the cross, Harris has a shot, Bono makes the save. And then look, I, I go back to the chances for in the first half, you've got to finish those chances. So they'll switch ends in Toronto in their white strips, head to toe, will work left to right away from the Bailey. Vasquez has the cost on the right side, back across to the left. Barrial trying to switch it to his other foot. And a penalty for the orange and blue. Alvaro Barrio pulled down inside of the 18 and no hesitation from the match official. Once again, his great vision from Acosta just to find Barrio at the back post. He takes a touch wide as if he's going to shoot. He comes back inside. There wasn't a ton of contact in that. If I'm being honest, as it comes back here, we'll see it better from this view. Now here, here we're going to have bookings on Toronto, I think chance for Cincinnati to take what would feel like a commanding advantage here in the 57th minute. Luciano Acosta on the penalty, stops it past Bono, 2-0 Cincinnati. has scored against the Reds for the second time this week. Well, Bono had guessed right, but Acosta's got a ton of power in this as he executes. What a time to go up 2-0 for FC Cincinnati. We talked about that decisive second goal. FC Cincinnati now looking to make a change at this time too. Looks like Baji's gonna be coming on. And one more look at the penalty kick. Second converted of the season for Luciano Acosta. One of the three substitutions. Lockett, Majunian, and 
Renner all getting ready to come on. Moreno wins it right back. Bocci in the 18, tries to slip it past Bono, and it went just wide on a give and go from Brandon Vasquez. He's just inches away, and it's a, a good combination here. Moreno plays it in. Nice win at first touch from Bocci, give and go with Vasquez. Just tries to toe poke it. Resty tried too hard at times, and, right. and you kind of get into your own head, too, but it, it would be great, I think, if he can get on the score sheet. There's an opportunity from Alvis Powell. Brenner into the 18, brings it back for Borio! A dagger for the orange and blue! He's offside. And the flag goes up on the far side. It's very, very close, but he's just going to be a step off. A far side defender, can't see who the player is, obviously in that replay, but he's going to be very, very close. It's interesting, as you, you know, everyone wants to like to talk about your last five results. We'll get back to this thought here in a moment. A shot there from Luke Petrosso in trouble. He's one on one, too, and look, that, that, that has to be a goal. You know, he's striking, right. he's still got more space, he could have taken an extra touch. Whoa, a big save here for Roman Celentano at the other end. I Canola got a piece. And Celentano had to push it up and over the crossbar. Robino Obrado tonight. Acosta gets it back on the left side. Lucho across the 18th. Brenner had it on his heel. And somehow put it up and over the frame. Caught him awkwardly. Into the match. Oh, this ball is spread across and again Acosta has the vision he plays in the goalkeeper comes out and misses it there's nothing the Brenner can do to react quick enough it's behind him it's a search and pass but you see Bono just <laughs> let that slip through his hands probably like four or five but he's just like jumped his opponent too Bonzi forward for Madunianik Harris will draw it back Brenner Brenner to his right foot gets a shot off Bono makes the save and they are dancing in the Bailey tonight at TQL Stadium.